Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. My AXA omelette turning flip and fold spatulas underneath. That's a grease boat right here with some paper towels in it. And uh, the 12 by 16 inch canvas is going to come in handy right now because the paper towels that are wet in that little grease boat are 12 inches. So that's awesome. And over there is my rainbow of colors. And I am going to do a little bit of experimenting from days of old, I guess, with colors that I used to love, which are basically the rainbow. So that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. I have some mead and black paint, or at least it was mead and black paint at one point in time. There's all kinds of possibilities that it has other things in it. Now I wanted to have a copious layer of black paint, and I'm not sure that I want to tip it off onto anything so I'm going to try and see what I can do with a silicone mat to dump that right over here if I have to. In the meantime, I want to see if I can spread it with my OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula and if there will be enough paint. And if it doesn't seem like there's going to be enough paint on the first side, and there kind of does, I always want to figure out ways of not having to dump paint off. That's just my thing. I don't like wasting paint. I do think, after having done a couple of brief experiments with this swiping method with the Amsterdam Black and the Aussie Flow Troll, that um, a heavier layer of black paint might produce much larger cells, and I don't know how heavy the paint has to be but I'm assuming it has to be thicker than what I used, which was very thin at one stage and a little thicker at the next, and this is the thicker, thicker still. And I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm trying to make sure I have an even layer of heavy paint. And I can't see... <laughs> this is going to come to some kind of some kind of weirdness. I'm going to grab an edge catcher. At this point, it's just basically to be used as... There has to be one. Yes, there does. That's too big. Should have done that first. Yes, I know. Thank you. Whichever way I'm going to start to drag will be the opposite way from this. So whatever comes off... And I usually try and drag from away, so I'll do that again. Now I have to arrange my colors. This is an Anita's White Metallic with some pink in it. And I'm not sure how many colors I can get down here. This is a uh, Folk Art. Neon pink. Which may have gone into the Anita's White Metallic. And I'm not sure I even want them all in a straight line. I might want them in a zigzag. So let's do a zigzag and fill in with some other colors. This was a yellow that had some orange added to it. I'm not sure what it is or if it was Sargent's or what. This is the way I used to do my swipes when I was working outside. Only I used to use a white cotton Excuse me, not white, but a cotton t-shirt. That is just a Hobby Lobby Master's Touch yellow. This is some leftover iridescent. Do I want a darker green? No, I don't. It looks very like that yellow has got some green in it from someplace. Very much. I'm going to use... I may, I may augment these at some point in time. <laughs> this is the Electric Blue from Arteza. It is a metallic. I thought they were going to go much further. So <laughs> I think I have... Yeah, I have an idea. This is another Master's Touch. Purple. This is an artist loft. And 
and I may have to just start over again. Although, I'm getting kind of close to what I had in mind. This is, I'm not sure what this is. This is really old, but I like the deco art metallics. So if I had to replace it, that's what I'd use. This is a color shifting, this is a color shifting or red orange that probably shifts to pink. I love these having trimmed the bottles off because the tops off because when I pull a plug out it's really a plug. And I think I'm going to go back again. to the orange. And I want some pink too. I'm just going to go for it. That should be way more than enough paint. She said as she eyeballed another color. And there it is. The color I'm going to use. I also want something up at the top here. And I think I better be very careful of my choices because whatever I start with usually dominates. We shall see. We shall see. I'm going to use some hot orchid. I wasn't going to, but I want to. <laughs> so I'm going to change my mind and use it. Now it's time for the paper towel. I have some Chantilly lace. I thought about that. I think that black needs to go right into... I need to wipe off the blade throw it right into the bucket so it doesn't harden up. And what am I going to do? I'm going to try and tip this. Maybe that's what I did the first time that got me my uneven or more organic. That's really cool. I might have to do that again soon. Come on, everything else is not moving the same way. I love, love, love that electric blue. I might, oh, I'm so tempted to take some paint away. Let's just put it all back in there again. Not worry about this, get my bottle out of the way. Rinse my hand off really quickly. Watch that bubble pop, that's cool. Nice to have studio rags. Don't expect to resuscitate any towels you put in your studio. Take my word for that. That's really cool. I like that a lot. So, where was I? I was turning this so that I could save the paint. And then I, and then I undid my saving scenario. Now it's time to grab a paper towel and hope for the best. I think I want to wave it. Because if it doesn't produce large cells, at least I'll still have something really cool. That's beautiful. I'm not sure if that's what I was expecting or not yet, but it's beautiful. I like to take my paper towel with its pretty colors and put it down on an edge catcher. Here come the here come the cells. I'm not so sure about this. Fill that in with black. I could have used some gold. I think I'm gonna to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint and I might actually release some patterns. You know what? I just used the the maiden paint and I didn't use <laughs> I did not use any Amsterdam black in Australian flow troll so I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole thing over again and if I like what I have this time I'm going to love what I get next time I think that can go away and I could tip that down so I could fill this side but I kind of like it just the way it is I think I'm going to remove my little tail, although it's so cute.
Okay, any black that I need might be right there. I can't believe I forgot to use the flow troll, the uh, Australian flow troll. I want to torch that again. So evidently the mead and black makes a pretty nice cell pattern also. And if I keep torching, I might encourage a few more of them to come up. It's kind of subtle, but it's really, really pretty. I'm really glad I, I waved it. It reminds me of one of the first paintings I ever did, which has like a couple million views way back in the beginning of my playlists. If you guys are interested in my playlist, you should go to my channel and look for playlists, all playlists, created playlists. And if you can't find what you're looking for, let me know, because I will share with you that I have organized by topic and genre playlists, all playlists. Oh yeah, no, brain cramp. I'm Woo, shiny. <laughs> I am uh, momentarily distracted by the pretty colors. Anyway, all playlists, creative playlists are on my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel banner, you're going to find PayPal on the lower right-hand corner. And if you want to use PayPal to make a donation, you'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. And the monthly drawing, not a ton of cells, but I think we're going to, it's going to be an excellent comparison, and I'm going to like doing it in a moment. So maybe I have to run these back to back. I kind of wish there was some gold in there, but then maybe not, because I really like it. The colors are a little dark in here, but I like that contrast too. All right, so whatever I didn't tell you, I'll tell you in another video. If you want to get in the monthly drawing, you'll be automatically entered is what I was trying to say before. And look at the link tree underneath the video. I don't think I've ever removed the painting. <laughs> And then kept recording. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. I'll bring it back. That was crazy. Really distracted. All right. I've got to zoom in anyway. <laughs> Maybe I'll edit that out. I don't do much editing, but I might edit that out. All right. Let's zoom all the way in. And look at those beautiful colors. So that's done with the mead and black. And we're going to do the same heavy layer of meaden and the same size canvas and the same colors, only we're going to use Australian flow troll added to Amsterdam black in a minute. All right, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Um, please share my videos. Give me a thumbs up in spite of the fact that I'm a blank head. Um, thank you for liking my videos. I really appreciate you watching longer and sharing them. My paint pouring recipes are under the video and uh, pixels.com, Fire Note America, and a whole bunch of other great stuff is all on my link tree. Under my link tree is my email address. <laughs> on my Amazon link, you'll find my two books. And thank you guys for the wonderful comments that usually keep my morale boosted, but whatever you say about this one, <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised. See you later. See you sooner. I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I love you. Bye.